In this ukulele review, and you're going to want to stick around for this one because I have some amazing, amazing instruments. I brought the heat on this one, but we're going to go over why spruce wood is such an amazing and powerful wood on the ukulele. All right, welcome to You Like the Pros. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited about this one. This instrument right here, forget about it, but I'll talk about it in a second. Anyway, this is You Like the Pros. I'm Terry Carter. If you're new to the channel, we do what you want, which is ukulele reviews, tutorials, challenges, giveaways, and just have a bunch of fun here on our channel. Make sure to subscribe, turn on that bell notification. By the way, everything you see, and I brought the heat. I mean, I'm telling you, the instruments I have laying around me right now are absolutely Incredible. They're all stunning, but they're all available at store.youclickthepros.com. And I appreciate it. Whatever you see, maybe you like this one right here. You don't even know. Do you even know? <laughs> if you even like anything, the sound, the looks, anything I'm doing, make sure to leave a comment below, smash that like button, and share this video with your friends. So I'm going to show you some really cool instruments. We're going to talk about why spruce wood. I know it looks a little plain, but I'm going to tell you why or how and demonstrate it's such a powerful, <clears throat> such a powerful wood on the ukulele. show you what I have first and then we'll talk a little about sp spruce wood. All right, first of all, mm, mm -mm, we got a Kala Elite Super Tenor with solid spruce top. We got a Koaloha Opio Soprano with a solid spruce top. And we got one of my favorite ukes from Ohana. This is a CK75 CG with the cutaway and the gloss finish and also the solid spruce top and a handmade custom tiny tenor from Pepe Romero, not of Romero's creation, that actually custom from Pepe Romero, moon spruce with Brazilian rosewood sides and backs. Oh my gosh, this thing is absolutely incredible. Let's talk about spruce in general. All right. Spruce is a ukulele, a guitar builder's dream. That's what luthiers want. Why? Well, listen. punch. Okay, it's got that drive in it. It's loud. It's got projection. And players like it as well because it really enhances the sound. It's got a lot of clarity in the notes. You have the just so shimmery. Whew. You cannot get that crisp sound. It's a little bit on the trebly side. You cannot get that from any other wood. Okay. To me, spruce is the loudest of all the woods. Okay? Cedar is a great wood as well, but it's a little more mellow. But spruce, it's got that punch. It's got that projection. And that's why we really love the spruce tops. Because in general, if you look at this one, this moon spruce, it's a pretty plain kind of wood. Even if I grab this fancier Ohana CK75, you notice, again, it's got the real plain wood. Even though it's got the beautiful abalone around it, it's still a really plain style wood. Even this opio soprano with the acacia size and back, again, it's a very kind of plain wood, but let me just slow it down a little bit. For soprano, you're not going to find a soprano that has a bigger, louder sound than one with a spruce top. Now, I brought this Kala out because this is another Super Tenor or an XL because some spruce, 
Some does have a little variation. Some has what's called bear claw. And if you look at the back of this one, you can see it has these little kind of marks that go around. And that's like, they consider that bear claw. It's almost like a bear did it on the wood. I'm not, don't think that's how it happened, but that's the way it looks at it. So generally, you're going to have this really kind of yellowish bright color here for the spruce, but some of it has a little variation like the bear claw. Now, there's a couple of different kinds of spruce that you hear a lot about. You hear about Sitka spruce. Now, this is a Sitka spruce right here. Notice this one, this has a sad finish. This is the Kala Elite. And yes, I am one of very few Kala Elite dealers. Store.youclickthepros.com. Very proud of that. Thank you, Kala, for, for doing that for me. Um, anyway, this is a Sitka spruce. The other kind of spruce that you're going to see is like one on the Koloha. Let me grab it. All right, so I got the Koloha. You can see this is more of an Engelman spruce. Now, there's a bunch of different spruces, but the two most common ones that I see are the Sitka spruce, the Engelman spruce, and huh, I got one more for you the moon spruce. Let me grab that Pepe Romero. Now the moon spruce, this is something special. This is German moon spruce and it has to do with the spruce tree that it's got to be cut at a certain time of the month and it's the way that they dry it out, they leave it up on a hill, they let the sap drain out. It's a really kind of a special process, the moon spruce, but it's just a very, very beautiful and again, clean style of spruce. So what do you think? Do you like spruce wood? Okay. It's deceiving because it doesn't look that fancy. So it doesn't look like coal wood or acacia wood or all, you know, rosewood. It kind of is kind of plain. But as far as sound is concerned, you're not going to find a wood that has more clarity, has more projection on it. So you, if you can get over kind of the plain look of this, I think you'll really love the sound because it's really going to make your notes. going to make your notes sing, whether you're strumming or doing a little finger picking. So, all right, comments below. What do you think? Do you have a spruce? Do you like the spruce? Do you like any of these ukes I have? Which one was your favorite? Leave that comment below. Again, these are all available. Store.youcollectthepros.com. And if you like anything I do here, you like my style, you like the plane, I, I do it all for you. Youcollectthepros.com. That's my instructional site. Over 20 courses, memberships, fantastic community over there. Go check that out. I want to help you become a better ukulele player. So I appreciate it. Thanks for being there. I hope you learned a little something about spruce. Maybe you can get over the, the kind of the plain look of spruce and really kind of get into the sound of it because that's really what it's all about. So if you want to follow me, me more, <laughs> if you want to follow me more, that was kind of weird, but you can follow me over on our Patreon page and any of our social media sites. So great job for sticking it through. I appreciate it. Have a good one and we'll see you next time.